are back at Star Wars Celebration 2015 live, powered by Verizon for StarWars.com. I am in the cantina with Johan. He is a DJ. He is a director. You probably know him from Lincoln Park. Welcome, sir. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Is this your first celebration? Uh, this is, yeah, this is the first one I've been to and the first time I've ever been in the cantina. Yeah, it's, amazing. it's crazy to be in the cantina, right? Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, and it's crazy. This whole thing is built to the old specs. Like, everything is using analog yeah. effects and everything like that, oh, so wow. it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really very, neat to be in here. Very controversial place, right? Yes. Yeah. You're sitting in the most controversial place probably I in know. the cantina. Here's the, <laughs> the proof right there. So, I got to know, uh, you have actually done visual effects work yourself for films in the past. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, watching the Force Awakens trailer, how did, how did you feel seeing the practical effects? Is there a trailer the, out? There's a tra no, What? I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Joe! No, no. I know, I know. No, no it's, 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 it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I, like, I like that J.J. Um, Abrams is paying homage to the original, bringing some new stuff, but really, like, Really um, nodding to the foundation of what is important to um, the franchise, to the Absolutely. fans, and everything. Well, how, how did you feel finding out that BB-8 is real? That ball droid just rolled right on up onto stage and oh. was not CG at all. Oh, I don't know about that. Did you not see? Oh, Is that Joe, yesterday? This is yesterday at the panel. Oh, so you know geez. that ball droid that's yeah, yeah. rolling around in the trailer? That's real. That's a real thing. Well, Like it rolled up. And its head was moving around independently of its body. It's floating above the body. It was oh, all real on stage. I, I want one of those. Right? Yeah. That's How do we get one of those? That's what I've been asking everybody from Lucas, and nobody is telling me anything. Yeah. Uh, Maybe make one or something. I would imagine you are, you're a director yourself, and you, you've worked, like I said, in visual effects before. Star Wars hold a pretty, pretty big place in your heart. Uh, yeah, for sure. I think for um, anybody that's into uh, comics, films... Um, within a certain age. Yeah. You know, it's a foundational element for so many things, for action, sci-fi, um, for just the way things look in the future. Like, yeah. I think after that movie came out, everything kind of copied it in some, some way. It influences so much, yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite Star Wars memory? Favorite Star Wars memory? Uh, there's a lot of them. I'm trying to think of the, the, the single one. Um, I like, uh, I think it was like, what is it, the, um, was it the Tusken Raider where he raises yeah. that, that stick? Yeah, up a, yes, and it is. And every time they cut back to it, it's the same shot. He's just like, yeah. They, they yeah. ran out of shots. <laughs> yeah, that always stood out to me. Big Tusken Raider fan. Yeah. So, so you were saying it's, you know, Star Wars, the aesthetic of it has, has sort of influenced everything. When, when you are working, when you're directing or when you're working on, on a film, do you, do you feel that influence? Do you kind of consciously use that influence? Uh, it's not a, a conscious thing with me. I, I think it's the, the force is within me. Mm -hmm. so it is within us all. It's within us all. To what degree, I don't know. And, <laughs> and to what purpose, everyone has his own path. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think just, you know, I grew up with that. Um, I, th I, th I think even if you don't grow up loving Star Wars, mm -hmm. it's still part of you because everyone else around you. Oh, for sure. It's just so ingrained in the culture. I mean, people yeah. here with their people here with their kids. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it's crazy to see this just spanning, you oh, know, yeah. almost thirty, you know, thirty-five years. Yeah, it's I, crazy. I see, like, um, like in suburbia, there's uh, parents that project sports onto their kids. So uh -huh. you know, like, oh yeah, I love basketball. And then their kid wears Lakers, and then here it's. It's the, the, the nerdy side of it, right? Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, the sand troopers wear their holsters and their guns closer. You got to watch that. You got to watch those details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you see that, son? It's a lot of little Leia's <laughs> and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Have you seen any cool costumes or any cool things on the floor since you've been here that really kind of blew you away? Oh yeah, tons of. I, I mean, other than I, the fact that we're sitting in the cantina right now. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. But, it's fine. <laughs> but uh, as we walked in, there were I, I couldn't even keep track, but there were. There was a huge line of um, uh, bounty hunters. Yeah, just walking, and it just didn't end. Yeah, they just a... went on forever. Like they yeah. get together and they take their group pictures here, and you'll have hundreds of X-wing pilots or stormtroopers just all together from around the world, and it's crazy oh, wow. to watch. So it's like a gang. Yeah, 
Uh, it's a roving gang of bounty hunters, wow. which is what makes this probably the coolest event you'll ever go to. <laughs> it is. It's really cool. <laughs> well, Joe, thank you so much for stopping by the cantina, man. Yeah, we really appreciate it. And remember, we got more here from the cantina all weekend. Star Wars Celebration Live 2015, powered by Verizon, StarWars.com. <laughs>